I get the urge to text you sometimes. My hands are so quick to type out the sentence, I miss you, so instead I scribble it out. I replace it with gold-covered brushes and murky water. I find the words I'll never say in paint and smear the ones I want to say over canvas. Glossed over paint dries on my hands, my fingers, my skin, and I take a second to stare. Stare at something that is not you, something that is equally as beautiful as you, but not you. All I can think about is your aluminum colored skin. I need a distraction. I want to mix colors accustomed to the milky shades behind your eyes. I find myself perfecting the tops of your shoulder freckles. The watercolor I drink seeps through my skin onto paper as thin as my veins. My heart beating fast, but I trace the edges of my paper faster. Tears dripping down my cheeks. Wait, no, your complexion isn't that watery. My palate knows how lovely you are and knows how lonely I am. Lonely enough to start painting about you, to start crying about you, to want to capture you with pastels, the glimmer of your lips on paper, and your soul in my paint. lot like dried paint, something that wasn't on purpose, something that is gorgeous, you are something that clings onto my skin, something I want to get off my skin, scrub off my skin, forget you were ever on my skin. If, if I poured honey and mixed it into the fumes of my acrylic paint, would it be as sweet as you? Would it shine like you? Would it be like you? These are the things that I think about and they swirl in my mind like paintbrushes swirling in murky water. Art is something I do when I feel inspired, when my mind races at the thought of something I could create out of nothing. My hands tracing the shadows of your silhouette, the shades I've memorized, your skin sketched into my eyes. Sometimes I wish I could just turn it off. Painting is my acrylic distraction in you. Well, you are my acrylic problem.